Hey everybody, How, welcome to your 10 day metabolism challenge, 10 day mastering your metabolism. Um, I'm really excited for this because what this has meant for me is I've just been um, getting consumed with um, the data out there, more studies and just researching, researching, researching the metabolism and just trying to find the best and up to date research for you all because metabolism is such an important part as I mentioned yesterday of your overall health so this is day two so yesterday I just jumped on I gave you a brief introduction and for those of you just joining me today my name is Naomi Judge I'm a naturopath and nutritionist and my aim is helping you connect the dots between your health hormones and happiness and metabolism is a vital component of that so I had a little bit of an issue yesterday I had a little bit of a phone phone drop yesterday so I've changed my change where I am I had it stuck on the window and it fell right down so here I am today no phone dropping here today internet's strong it was a bit weak yesterday so we can get on with it so your metabolism what is it you know if you upregulate your metabolism if you master your metabolism you'll feel more energized you'll have less, less mood swings less bloating less constipation you'll beat that mid-afternoon sugar craving or that mid-morning need for a coffee you'll have clearer thinking you'll have more vibrant skin better hair just all around you'll feel just stronger you'll feel like there's more heat in your body and you'll just feel like you've got some more i love it va -va -va boom you know your engine is pumping and that's why i'm doing this because i just want to see give you just a few more tips a few more things you can do to really get your metabolism on track so you know your metabolism regulates how you absorb and how you synthesize nutrients without your metabolism we can't turn protein to essential amino acids we can't turn fat into energy we can't turn starch into glucose we can't do all that we need a really strong working super duper metabolism and that's why it's so important to do things that nourish your metabolism regulate your metabolism nutrients to help your metabolism get fired up and do those little things throughout the day which help so day two day two is getting your chill on oh. <laughs> Um, hi Zoe, that's, oh, that's Izzy, she's, she's 16 years old, it's because I'm down low, I was, um, because I'm just sat in front of the couch, that's her spot, I dare not move her, she's, um, she's got anger management problems, <laughs> if I was to move her she wouldn't be happy with me, I'd probably get a little whack. <laughs> And so what the metabolism does is it assists with growth and repair, it assists with muscle building, you know, it assists with that whole inner metabolic rate, your metabolic rate is how fast you burn fat, how fast you make muscle, all of those kind of things, making bones, all of those kind of things. So your metabolism is so very important, it's not just about weight loss, and weight loss is a huge component of it, but if your metabolism is not working, you'll, you'll feel, you know, you'll get hair loss, your skin will feel dry, you feel constipated, you feel tired, you get fatigued, all of those kind of things, you know, those, those things that we just think, oh, how can we figure that out? And we can take nutrients for our hair like silica and zinc and fish oils, but ultimately if our metabolism is not working, all of those vitamins, all that money we're spending on the vitamins, all of that good food that we'll ta we're taking, they just, they, it just won't be doing anything. So it's really important to get your metabolism working and then kind of go from there. You know, what's going on with your hormones? What's going on with your adrenals? What's going on with your estrogen? What's going on with your thyroid once your metabolism's working? So um, let's get started. So today we wanted to talk about cold therapy. And the reason I love cold therapy and I know a lot of you don't. And whenever I mention this, and I mention having a cold shower, too many people go, oh no, it's so uncomfortable, I could never do that, I could never do that. And it's very interesting because having a cold shower and doing this cold therapy, it's so therapeutic and it's so beneficial. Hi Lisa, thanks for joining. Cold therapy is so beneficial, you know, it's really beneficial and it's free. It's something you can just do every day. It's something that's really quick. But the reason we don't like doing it and the main reason we don't like doing it is because it's uncomfortable. Human beings don't like to do things that are a little bit uncomfortable. But here's the thing about a cold shower. Once you start doing it, and it doesn't have to be like a 10-minute freezing cold shower and you wash your hair in, in cold water. You can do everything in a warm shower and then give yourself a once-over with, the, um, with, the, with the cold water. I'm getting sidetracked because she's there. I should have moved it over. 
um, with the cold water. You know, you can just give yourself a rinse over. Every day you do it, you will get better and better. You'll get better at doing it. It will feel good. And you get such a high from it. And it really sets you up for the day because look at all the studies with, with cold water therapy. Look at all the studies with cold showers. Fantastic for your immune system. So cold showers boost your white blood cells. Wonderful for your immune system. Absolutely fantastic for your endorphins. Cold showers have been shown to be a treatment for depression. Very, very good. Boost your serotonin and it regulates your dopamine levels. It's wonderful. It also increases nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is, a vit is vital for heart health. It gets the blood pumping around the, around the body. Nitric ox oxide is great for a low libido for women, but it's also fantastic for men who um, find it difficult to sustain an erection. So a cold shower is wonderful for men because it gets the nitric oxide pumping everywhere, which is really, really important. Cold showers have also been shown to help aid recovery. So if you work out a lot, if you get injured a lot, then a cold shower can, can actually help with that. Um, it increases the metabolic rate. So cold, the cold showers actually increase how fast you make muscle, how fast you turn over the fat, use the fat as energy, and how fast you grow muscle. So it's a simple thing you can do without changing too much. And even though it's uncomfortable, I really want to encourage you to do it. And maybe you're in a cold climate. I just had someone on my, on my program this morning call in, from, um, call in from Canada, and Canada is cold in Canada, so maybe you don't want to do it in a cold climate, and I can understand that. So if you don't want to do a cold shower in a cold climate, you can do a couple of other things. So the easiest and simple way to get your cold therapy on is to have a large glass of chilled water first thing in the morning. And it does dampen down your digestion. So if you've got a really sluggish digestion, it's probably not the best thing to do, so then you would go with a cold shower. But a cold glass of water in the morning Get your metabolic rate going. It upregulates your metabolic rate and it starts that. And it's really good for your metabolism and, and mastering your metabolism and regulating your metabolism. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is a cold shower. So you can have a full-on cold shower. You can do what I do. And I do my usual thing. I'll soap up with warm water and then I'll do a blast. You get to your back and you go, oh! <laughs> but that oh! is actually really good. That's when the nitric oxide kicks in and that's when the endorphins kick in as well. So it's actually, it's actually really great for your mood and for your energy throughout the day. So that's a cold shower. Maybe you live near an ocean so you can go and jump in the ocean quickly. That's a wonderful way to do it. And then you've got the therapeutic energy, um, therapeutic um, salts in the sea. Or one of my favorites, and actually this is one that I, I do encourage people to do, particularly if you live in the countryside, is actually as soon as you wake up in the morning, and especially if it's a little bit chilly outside, go outside in the grass with bare feet and walk around in the dew. It regulates your metabolism, it gets your metabolic rate going, but also there's a real therapeutic action happening here of you grounding, grounding yourself first thing in the morning with the dewiness in the grass. So that's a great one to do. I actually like doing that one in winter. So in summer, generally I have a cold shower, and in winter, I'm snuggled up in bed. I feel really warm. And you know you don't want to get out of bed. You're like, oh, too cold, too cold, too cold. So what I actually do, the first thing I do is I get up. I do my usual oil pull and clean my teeth. Just leave my pajama pants on, pajama top. I don't put a jumper on or anything like that, even if it's minus. And I just quickly go outside for a couple of minutes, walk in the ground. And you re your temperature just starts to regulate, and that gets that metabolic rate going. So those are the those those are my favourite ways. You know, either the full-on cold shower, either the jumping in the ocean, either the glass of water if you can't do the others, or going and walking outside in the dewy grass as soon as you've woken up in the morning. Another way people like to do it, but it does cost money. All of those other ways, they're they're free and easy for you to do, and easy for you to implement every single day. And the impact of those on your metabolism is actually fantastic. It really does upregulate your metabolism. And like I say, it upregulates, it gets your nitric oxide higher, it gets your dopamine higher, it gets your serotonin higher, it gets all your feel-good endorphins higher. I love the walking suggestion. Oh, thanks, Megan. It's, a really, it's, it's actually really beautiful to do in the morning because it stops you. You know how sometimes in the morning you can never get your body temperature up? Like you feel cold the whole day, but by, especially in winter, you know, you wake up and you're...